hi guys and uh, welcome back to the channel so guys i got another alert that there's an update i can't believe how frequently these things are coming out but anyway i thought let me make a video and tell you guys all about it so today's video i think is 36.5.5 i'll put it up on the screen in a second and hopefully you can see that from what i've seen so far i think it's uh, really some real updates around drivability uh, especially with the cold weather here i know in North America as well, you guys are starting to get a cold snap on the East Coast, definitely. Uh, the same here, it's, it's much, much colder here. So we're going to go through some of that update, get that triggered off. But what I wanted to share with you real quick while we're outside is, you really need to take care of the car during the winter. So if you are going for a trip uh, or just doing your errands or going to work or going shopping like we've done in the morning, school is back on you really want to get the car primed about 15 minutes before you set off at least and what i mean by that is really what you want to try and do is just warm the car up so use the app use the app to preheat the car so heat your uh, windscreens uh, heat the interior up just get it nice and warm and start to defrost the car so guys the other things to realize is obviously we've got cameras everywhere around the car now that is obviously important for all of the drivability, not just when you're using self-driving functionality. But in the mornings and in the cold, you are going to get errors on your screen to say that these cameras are obscured. So when you are coming and setting off for the morning uh, or any time of the day where you just left the car, just remember to give the, the cameras a bit of a clean. So I don't know, you just want to put uh, a bit of spray on it or uh, some de-icer or something that can you can just clear those cameras so we have the, the camera there the pillar camera is one that often comes up as one that does get blocked so again just wiping that off in the morning so just go around the car in the morning um uh before you set off and just get the cameras cleaned up so that when you get in the car everything is working as it should do right so now we've got everything primed we've got a bit of sun even though it is quite chilly here we're going to go in and we're going to trigger the update. So we'll start doing that now. Okay, guys, so we're in the car, sitting in the car. So we're going to trigger the update. So as you can see from the screen, it's 2021.36.5.5. So uh, we're going to install this. Uh, we'll go through the user notes uh, in a minute uh, once it's installed. Um, but we're going to trigger it off here. So I'm going to install now and if i again if i press the uh, double click the digits it should start off straight away so there you have it the update is going to start and uh we'll catch you guys back up when uh this is done and then we'll talk through what those updates are because it's definitely some improvements on drivability and some improvements on the app so we will definitely go through that but guys while we're waiting as we always do um i just wanted to take you back you know there hasn't been that much been ha happening but uh it was my dad's special uh birthday um and uh he turned 80 this year so we had a bit of a uh, a get together and we got dressed up uh, in october first costumes uh and had a beer uh as well as a bit of a party so we'll take you there and show you some shots and then we'll come back and show you the update Because it's not a girl's birthday. Pink yeah. and white. Huh? Oh, 
Okay guys, we're back in the car. The update is all finished. And uh, as you can see, we're at the release notes. And here, um, at the moment, it's only showing here that the mobile app has been improved. So um, now you can adjust the current um, charge. So we will have a look at that in a second uh, on the phone. Um, you've got scheduled departure and scheduled charging um, at your car's current location from the app. So that's going to be quite useful actually, so we'll, we'll have a look at that in a second. Um, it doesn't say anything about the driver improvements that I've been reading, uh, so I'm not sure whether that's just something that's been done more as a bug fix, that it just gives you that better feel uh, for when you're driving in the winter, or whether it's something that we just didn't get, so um, uh, we'll have to check that out and see uh, which is which. Um, but otherwise, um, again, you know, sort of a, a useful update, not a major update. Um, but uh, let's have a look at the, the app and we'll, we'll see what the updates are. So that's the update, um, as I said, not a major update, but as you can see, we can change the, the charging current. Um, it, it lets you do it from the app, so you saw me doing that. Uh, it also lets you do some preconditioning um, on the schedule, so you can put a scheduling time, preconditioning, when you want charging to happen, an off-peak setting, so all really, really useful features for charging. So from that perspective, it's, it's a great update. Uh, so guys, the, the other thing I wanted to mention is, um, model 3 as you guys are you know, exploring um, the the new models for next year um, you know if you are interested and you are ordering um, the current schedule for the model 3 uh, is that uh, at the moment uh, you will get a slot of early February um, at least and I think the performance model might be a little bit later than that um, so a few months of leeway which is not that bad considering the big chip shortage that we have and all of the issues we've got with cars because the second our car market's gone absolutely crazy it's unbelievable so that's great not a big wait to 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 get a new tesla now what's changing in the model 3 for 2022 so um so what we've seen is that um, they are getting rid of that standard plus tag so it's not going to be called model 3 standard plus which is the entry level rear wheel drive only uh, version they're just calling it the model 3 rear wheel drive so um so that's a change it's called something different but the great thing about that car which i think you really now should consider the range of all the teslas has, has increased so that standard uh what was called standard range that model 3 entry level is now over 300 miles so that is absolutely fantastic if you look at the competitors out there um getting over 300 miles that's a bit of a game changer so entry level um you'll get over 300 miles um the the long range that we've got today um we get another 20 miles if you order the new one so from my one i ha i have around 340 miles they've updated it to um uh, 360 miles which is unbelievable you know getting closer to that 400 mile range with the charging network that's getting better and better every day it's really really a, a a doable transition now um and if you are that way inclined with performance and you like that you remember it's uh, a little bit lower it has that body kit um and it has a the uh, carbon fiber spoiler it has the beautiful rims that 
look absolutely fantastic. So, it, uh, and of course, it's very quick, 3.5 uh, seconds to not to 60. Um, even that has now gone to 340 miles. So again, very, very decent um, uh, sort of mileage on those batteries. And of course, remember, that takes into account those different alloys. If you do get this, the, um, the, the Model 3, uh, rear wheel or the long range you, you are potentially going to have options to upgrade the wheels like I've done and to be honest with you um, I don't mind it it does give you probably a degradation of at least 15 20 miles on your charge from the standard aero wheels but I don't know I, I, I think it's worth it I think they look fantastic I haven't noticed the ride that much harsher than, um, than, than the standard wheels so I prefer it but some of you may find that having another 15 20 mile range uh, to your charge and having those aero wheels which now the new ones actually do look quite nice uh, is, is a preference so totally um, you know a horse for courses whatever uh, suits your uh, particular needs so there you have it so we've got a new model coming up um, at the end of next year I can't see any visual changes so if there is any further updates on what they're doing to that car I will let you know but it sounds more like uh, performance um, and you know sort of efficiency gains uh, on that car so I hope you enjoyed us doing um, some other things uh, you know some birthday treats and uh, all those sort of things um, but otherwise uh, guys please if you like these videos please subscribe uh, so you get notified of when I put things on and if you want an early scoop follow me on Instagram uh, but otherwise I'll catch you next time